Enthusiast YouTube to Four Joes by Joe. This is your regular Joe Justin here. Today I have a kind of a unique and time consuming uh, subject. Today I'm going to talk to you about my bug out gear. My shit hits the fan. We got issues. We got to get out of Dodge. Grab what is absolutely essential and let's go. Um, this is meant to basically sustain me for however long it may need to be. I essentially tried to pack enough stuff for two people, assuming that my wife would be going with me also. Um, obviously she'd have her own stuff too, but I tried to pack as much into one bag as possible to help sustain two people. Um, <clears throat> this is just my humble opinion on what I need. I have the camouflage clothing because I live in northern Wisconsin which is surrounded by woods and that would be my go-to place just because I feel comfortable in the woods and that's where I feel like I could hold out the best. So I'm going to go through this piece by piece um, the best I can. Uh, not going to go into specifics about every item but if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments below if you got any suggestions that I'm missing something um, go ahead and throw it there too um, let me know what you thought and uh, first of all I'm gonna go over my protection options um, I've got a lot of different ways here to protect myself I'm not gonna go into the, all the the crazy different ways I could do it like uh, I'm gonna sharpen a stick with this knife and that's a protection option I'm gonna go into the obvious protection options that I have. First off, um, one of the less less obvious protection options is, just give me a second here, I apologize for the shaking of the camera. All right. One of the less obvious is actually this, um, oh geez. Hold on just a second. Is actually this shovel here, which is obviously in pretty good container. As you can see, it has been used. Um, I can unfold this thing and use it like a uh, like a bat, essentially. So um, obviously has multiple other uses. That's the only one that I'm going to point out that's a less obvious option. So, so basically my protection comes down to these two, uh, these two rifles, uh, these two firearms. The one is the AR-15 and 5.56223. Um, great rifle, easy to maintain, um, readily found parts. Uh, my secondary option is the H and K P30 um, in 40 Smith and Wesson. Recommend this pistol to anybody. And yes, it was my Glock replacement. So go ahead and fight over that in the comment sections. Um, and then obviously I've got a, a survival knife here. Um, it's a uh, Gerber LMF2 for anybody that's wondering. Now this is the bottom line gear that I have to have with me um, if I for whatever reason don't think I can bring the backpack this has a survival kitten and whatnot already on it so I'm going to go through this piece by piece here quick. Um, 
Here I have a compass in the top here. Um, just a real simple compass, easy for me to access, and a flashlight and um, and lighter in this small pocket there. Um, I've kind of tumbled up on a lot of flashlights here. Got a flashlight on that weapon, a flashlight on that weapon, and I believe I got one somewhere else yet. Um, another another knife here, a multi-tool. This is a Leatherman um, Leatherman Mutt. Um, it's a like I said, another multi-tool. A great tool to have, especially for the firearms because it's got a brass cleaner and whatnot. Then over here on this pocket here, I have um, tripwire, um, which is, has multiple uses for snares and, and um, tying materials together, whatever the need may be. Well, you think I could get that re-snap? Oh well. Um, in this pocket, I have a flint and steel. Um, and an SOL kit, um, emergency um, kit. I just didn't want to, it just fit in that po po pocket perfectly, so I had no need to uh, try to make my own kit, and it comes with some decent stuff in there. So, and then obviously, I have uh, the focus, it's not focusing. There we go. Then obviously, I have a surplus of ammunition here. Um, both for the pistol and the uh, rifle. Um, so that's my plate carrier. I don't have plates in it. Um, my point is I need to try to stay as light as possible. And that adds entirely too much weight. I'm going to have enough weight on me already with with my extra weight. <laughs> and um, the weapons, the ammunition, the knives, and the backpack. So um, I can't add in a plate carrier. So you lose some you, you gain some too so um, to go along with the weapons this is my weapon bag here um, generally goes to me with at the range has various things in it obviously the bags not going with the only thing that I'm gonna grab is this cleaning kit and attach it to the backpack somewhere it may not be needed but anyways clothes I'm gonna wear a Marpart shirt with more pat pants um, and another another knife here, a uh, just a regular K bar, little bitty guy. Been using it for hunting for many many years. All right, into the backpack we go. So I'm going to talk about the uh, outer contents first. This is a Maxpedition um, Falcon 2 backpack. Um, kind of relatively small compared to most backpacks. Um, on the outside, we have the shovel, obviously. Two canteens of water. They have a dual purpose. They can carry water, and they can boil water. Why? Because it's got a, uh, a can in the bottom. I definitely recommend these. I've had it. I used it when I was in the military. Um, they're they're cheap. They make sure you get the one with the can in the bottom. It, one, it makes it a lot easier to reinsert your uh, reinsert your canteen when it's at the bottom. When you, when it's on your belt, excuse me. So uh, and two, you can if need be, you could boil water in that. All right, we'll worry about re-snapping that later. And then on the bottom here, I actually have my meds. This is a pretty big med pouch. Um, I'm not gonna go through everything in there. If you really wanna know more about it, go ahead and leave me a comment below. I have a whole assortment of stuff. I was a paramedic at one point. Um, so, so obviously the medical side of it is it may be a little bit more important to me than some people, but uh, so that's what's in there. Now we're going to go through each and individual pocket. In this first pocket here, I've just got some random stuff. 
this here is um, is a penny stove. Um, you can find several resources on how to make this. If you really want, I'll make a video on how to make this. Um, it's all over the internet. They're really nice. Uh, all you got to do is put a penny in here. You use uh, any kind of alcohol or um, whatnot. You put it in there and then you light it, and it, it'll burn for hours. I, I believe the longest I had that burning full was like an hour and a half, two hours. So, anyways, that's in there. I've got some other medications. Um, I've got, th oops. Two, three, um, three lighters, just regular Bic lighters. I'm gonna try to lay this stuff out for you. Um, like I said, I've got some more, more pain meds and different stuff. Um, all good stuff to have. And like I said, I can go through that um, more if you'd like. Uh, and then some snare wire. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back in there quick I like everything to stay ready I apologize so like I said I keep my videos um, uncut as possible so as non commercialized as this video is most of you probably aren't gonna like it now um, I was in the Air Force if you can't tell or if you haven't but if you've been watching my videos um, bringing this manual with me covers a lot of different things things that I probably forgot about and in, 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 a, in a crunch this um, this could be a good reference guide and plus it's a fire starter so <laughs> um, if I need to shed weight that's probably the first things that's gonna go sunglasses um, probably uh, not as high on some people's list they're they're a good thing to have if you're working in the woods or doing something and you need safety glasses there you go sunglasses work in a pinch um two pencils you never know when you're needing it right on something you need a fire tinder um multiple uses a marker but once again never know um some uh, gum packets um essentially to give you some kind of comfort while you're dealing with that chew some gum um, like I said it has other uses also such as um, comforting you and um, giving you some calories um, never really know what you what you could use gum for I I can't think of anything off the top of my head but it probably does have more uh, uses than I'm going after here. Now in the second to the main pocket, I've got some more stuff in here. And you'll notice I did, I tried not to load up the outside of the backpack with a lot of percenting stuff. Because if I'm trying to leave, if I've got to go through a city or leave the city or whatever it may be, um, I don't want to stick out, yeah, with the camel and whatnot, I'm going to stick out a little bit like a sore thumb, but I don't want the backpack to show that, hey, look at me, I got a whole bunch of good good gear, and you don't want to put all that stuff on the outside. You want to try to get as much on the inside as possible. Obviously, these bigger items, there's no way it would take up too much room. So um, it's good to try to keep about as much as you can inside in here. I've got some mechanics gloves, um, invaluable, gets cold, obviously it's not going to be good for extreme cold, and I live in a colder climate, so that would have to be a consideration when I'm leaving. When I'm bugging out, I'd have to grab some colder gear or wear it immediately. Um, good while I'm working on stuff. For Alright, sorry about that guys, welcome back. Um, got interrupted, had to, had to take care of a couple things. Um, Mechanics gloves, like I said, invaluable. Great for working outside, warming up your hands. Protects your hands. One of the most valuable things that you've got in this situation. And here, I've got a right in the rain binder. Um, 
multiple different uses for this. It's got a pen, um, some paper, um, other tools in here, uh, rulers and whatnot. Not necessarily vital, but um, like I said, it's it's useful in its own way. Got a couple plastic bags, um, just regular grocery bags in here. Good for carrying stuff. Uh, you might not might not think of a use right now, but when you're in a bind, they might be more useful than you think. Uh, an inclusive dressing. Um, I can go over that later on. Um, got a hatchet on East Wing hatchet, just a simple hatchet. Here's heat that a fuel that penny stove for a long time. There's a lot there. A little bit more than I needed. And then I've got this, uh, it's kind of like a space blanket. Um, it's a solar, uh, an SOL bivy, uh, two person bivy. Um, great for two people. It's going to keep you both warm. Uh, just fantastic. And in the summertime in Wisconsin, this may be more useful than you think. Bug spray is huge. It, the bugs around here will drive you absolutely insane. So you probably should have some if you're in, in that kind of a location. So um, definitely consider that if I, if I were you. Once again, sorry for repacking. It's just, uh, I just like to have it ready to go. Kind of had a hard time getting into this video for the pure fact that I'd have to unpack it. So, uh, all right, in the main pouch here, this would be a little bit easier to show you because it unzips and pretty much unfolds. All right, welcome back again. If if I'm not getting interrupted, um, my camera battery's dying, so um, I'm not sure what you missed. Um, in the main pocket, like I said, I've got uh, 550 paracord eating utensils, um, primitive, primitive rain gear, two of them here. Um, it's a, just a regular poncho, and then a plastic bag again. Two MREs, there's 3,000 calories per MRE there, um, so that could last you upwards of two weeks or so um, just depending on how you go about doing it now a neat feature about this backpack is you could put a water bladder in here and then run it out the top um, great backpack definitely worth the hundred and thirty dollars I can do a review on the backpack itself if you'd like uh, leave me a comment below um, the only reason I kept the packaging for this it's a very cheap um, water filtering device here. Uh, just a real cheap one. I kind of wanted to get a better one, but you can't really beat it for the size. Kept the packaging for two things, fire starter um, and instructions. You never know how long this stuff might sit here. And I just kind of, just in case I forget how many uses or how many liters of water that thing's useful for, then I know. So, and then here I've got some general hygiene stuff y yeah you might be running for your life or whatever it may be this backpack's not just meant for we're uh getting overrun by zombies if you want to play that game um you need to still still keep up on your hygiene um and then i've got these fire starters here um just they're real just just to get a fire going and then a cooking uh, boxer it's got a pan and and different different things in here you kill something you can cook it you can boil some water um, kind of redundant fire and water are gonna be your essentials now in this waterproof container the container itself is useful for a lot of different things I won't go into that you can use your imagination so I've got a sewing kit, which could be useful for fishing. Um, this is just the instructions for the water tablets. Like I said, more plastic bags. Never know what they're useful for. Um, tin foil, good for reflective material. Uh, also good for a lot of different other uses. 
another um, flint and steel striker. Road flares. These are more useful than a lot of people think. One, they'll start a fire because they burn hot as hell, 2,000 degrees. Um, so, you know, if you really need to start a, a fire in a pinch and all your other shit has failed, there you go, a road flare. I got two of them. Another sewing kit. Um, like I said, they're kind of invaluable stitching yourself up. Um, another thing for fire, candles. They'll burn for nine hours each. Uh, if you had to cook something, if you needed to stay warm, you're in your car, it quits. If you light one candle and you keep all your doors and windows windows closed and and uh, you're and it's cold out, that will keep you warm enough to live. Some regular matches in here, um, some B complex, uh, complex, and then some water tablets. Um, another way to pur purify water. So that's about it, guys. Um, you know, I, like I said, if you if you think I'm missing something, or if you think I had some great ideas, or you want to add add your thoughts and whatnot, go ahead and leave a comment below, and um, let's just let's let's have a discussion about it. You know, this is interesting for all of us. Essentially, by doing something like this, you're you're just preparing yourself. You're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. You never know what could happen or when. Maybe it's a flood, a tornado, your house burns down. You know, it's always good to have these kind of supplies ready for for anything. So, um, thanks again for watching Four Joes by a Joe. If you like the videos that you're that you're seeing, leave a leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Um, I try to get you as many videos as I can. Um, I'm a regular working guy just like you the rest of you so um, I can only do them when I can so thanks for watching anyways thanks for watching 4 Joes by Joe have a good rest of your weekend guys and gals